Let me share with you a quick peek. Select the theme you want and the colors come in according to different moods. Let's say you want bold colors and you click on it and all of the colors of the design is colored according to that color palette and you can shuffle between these colors. The best part is you can search for different color palettes. For example, you want some fresh colors. Search for it and there you have fresh color palettes. So let's go with this one and you can again shuffle. All of the colors are applied according to the color palette you choose. You don't have to select every element and pick a color from the palette. Back to the video. Now you can take all the time in the world to design a social media post in Photoshop from scratch and there's nothing wrong with that. But also there is no shame in starting out with professionally designed templates that are already available to you from Adobe. Besides, you don't have to worry about size, dimension, resolutions, which always keep changing. So let's start. Step 1. Pick a theme and a purpose. You need to ask yourself two questions. Number 1. What is the purpose of your post? Is it for engagement? Is it for announcement? Or is it for a call to action? And number 2. What is the mood you want to convey? What is the overall theme? Let's feed that into Adobe Express. I've linked that in the description for you and let it generate the ideas for you. For example, you want to post about a skincare product and there's a sale going on. So skincare, product, sale. Let's see, not sick. <laughs> what was I thinking? There are lots of great ones right here. Most of them are free. Some of them are premium. Now, speaking of premiums, if you're watching this video, most likely you're a Creative Cloud member. And if you are a Creative Cloud member, all of the premium features are available to you. So I did not pay for any of this additionally. And my question to you is why are you not using what you are already paying for? And if you're not a Creative Cloud member, still, most of these are free. In fact, let's go with a free template. And also, let's say we want an Instagram post out of this. So click on that. Lots of filters right here. Let's go with this one. That's nice. Start from it. Now, although my skincare routine starts and ends with a bar of soap, believe it or not, a lot of people have different creams for different parts of the body. Anyway, let's say the colors here are not according to the mood or the theme you want. So step number two is pick a color palette. Think about the theme or the mood you want to convey. Since this is a skincare product, you can think of the skin tones or the colors of fresh fruits that make 0% of the ingredients and 100% of the branding. In this case, let's go for luxury colors. So the right hand side modifies the element of the design and the left hand side adds element. For example, backgrounds, templates, photos, shapes. So let's modify the colors by going to colors and let's go for luxury. These colors look interesting. Let's click on them. Now it's not changing the color of the background. How do we make it happen so that the color of the background also changes? We need to colorize the background. So simply click on the background area. Any background area will do. And open up the filters option inside of the effects section and choose colorize. And there you have the color already applied. Now when you go to colors and now when you shuffle it, the color of the background also changes. I love this color, but the text is not standing out. Don't worry about it now. We know that this is the theme that we are going for. Do you remember Adobe Color? Maybe some of you still use it. So if you go to color.adobe.com, you will see that their features are added to Adobe Express. So whatever color combinations we were searching for was powered by Adobe Color. If you don't want to go with a theme of colors, you can also pick the color palette of your brand. So I had created my brand right here and saved its colors, which is Piximperfect New. So I can click on it and it will be colored with Piximperfect's brand colors. But in fact, I was happy with what I had chosen here. Step three, as you guessed it right, modify. Modify the design according to your needs. I cannot stand the text. So let's first of all choose a font and go for bright colors. Click on this and choose a brighter color right here. For example, this one is fine. This one is fine as well. Also, we do not want any outline. So let's turn off the outline from right here. Now here's the best part. You get font recommendations. As soon as you click on it, have a look. There is this new thing called font recommendations and it gives you a preview of how your fonts is gonna look like exactly as it is in the design with different fonts. So let's explore more right here. So if you like a particular font, let's say you like this one and you want similar fonts like this, just click on this button right here, more like this, and it will show you more fonts like that. So there you go, more like this, more like this, different variations of the same font. There are some different odd ones out that it can show from time to time, but you will get similar fonts. The font that I ended up using is Hebo Black, is one of my favorites. So if you look at Hebo, uh, lots of different weights. So let's go with black, that's fine. And also we want it to be all capital. So let's type in new product, all caps. Now, of course you have different alignment features like left, middle and right, but there are these creative alignments. If you click on it, have a look at this one, the magic alignment right here. No matter what the size of the text is, it will make sure, even if you write something right here, it will adjust the size to make sure that your text is aligned. So let's go to the next line and let's type in sing. See, it adjusts the size. And then there's also this grid alignment. So if you click on right here, grid, 
Let's go with this one. This looks luxurious. So let's go with this. We want product on the next line. If you think the space between two letters is too much, you can decrease it by clicking on this button right there and decrease the letter spacing. Let's go with 19-ish. Let's put it to the side. It also snaps right in. When we have a lot of options, we get confused. If you want specific options, click on more right here. And here you have some specific suggestions. So I want to go with a bright but sober yellow color. Something like this. Looks nice. Blends well. Now you can modify this. You can go to custom and make it a little more brighter like this. That kind of looks nice. Now this 45% off has this magic alignment. First of all, let's pick the same color, this color that we have chosen at the top. Now it will show you the current colors right here, making your design consistent. We want the 45 right here to align with off, not the whole 45%. So how do we do that? Erase the percent from right here and keep it 45 off and percent we can add separately. Let's choose the same font right here, which was Hebo. Let's try black. That looks nice. Let's make it larger. And again, we don't want any outline right here. Now let's add the percentage. What did we learn before? When you need to add an element, you go to the left hand side. So let's click on T, text. You can choose to add your own text and just type in the percentage on the right hand side. Resize it and place it. Now you can group the entire thing if you wish to. Select one, hold the shift, select this one as well and click on group right here. Now all of that will move all together. Now to make the text stand out, there are other ways as well. So let's say join today, which you can barely see. You can turn on shape right here and the shape size will adjust according to the shape. Much quicker than Photoshop. In Photoshop, if you were to adjust the text, you would have to adjust the shape as well, adjust the gaps as well. But right here, let's say we go for this shape. Now as you begin to write, the shape adjusts its height and width. So let's keep it at join today. And also you can choose the gap between the text and the shape. So let's go a little higher. Something like 24 is fine. And to make it stand out, let's go for black. You can also decrease the opacity. And the more consistent we are with our font choices, the better. Again, let's go for the same font. And here's one of the best parts. Even with the shape, it automatically aligns. Have a look just snaps right in there. Similarly for the website link right here, which you barely can see right now. Now when you choose a font size, you'll see a very interesting thing. To maintain consistency, it will show font sizes of what you have in the design already. For example, if you click on this, it's 66.3, right? If you click on this, this one is 58. This one is 30. So when you click on this one and try to pick the font size, it will show you those numbers, 66, 58. 30, so that even the font size is consistent. Let's do an experiment right here. Let's pick this one instead of 66.3, let's change it 65. Let's see if it shows up. 65, okay. Now let's click on this one. Does 65 show up right here? There you go, it does. It is pretty much done. You can also replace the images. So let's say I wanna replace the top image. It is inside a shape by the way, and you can click on replace and there are thousands and thousands actually Millions maybe? Millions of images you can choose from, lots of free ones. Let's say you want this one and it replaces. Now, of course, you need to rotate that. Click on crop and shape right here. Now, the shape, this one is already selected. We just need to rotate it. So let's rotate and we can keep it like this. Check and there you go. But I like the previous one. Just wanted to show you that you can easily replace that. Step four, let's do what Photoshop does best and that is creating the assets. We can connect Photoshop and Express. Both have the same father, Adobe, right? So they're all related. Let's say you wanna apply the label of your brand here. So let's drag and drop our label right here. That's how we name our files. Let's drag it. My graphic pen is acting up or maybe I'm acting up. Hit enter or return. Now there's a new warping preset in Photoshop before it. It would have taken so much time and the corner infinity curve was impossible and that is cylindrical warp. Press control or command T, right click on it and then choose warp right here and at the top inside of the warp drop down, let's choose cylinder. This is a new addition. Let's drag it right here, keep it right here. Let's keep this one right over here and simply adjust it according to the bottle. This seems perfect because if you have a look at the edges, look at this infinity curve. It was very difficult to do before. You would have to create different points and rotate them and even then it was not perfect. Hit enter or return once you're satisfied and change the blend mode right here from normal to multiply. There you go. And it's pretty much done. Now let's drag it a little bit downwards. And also we are not painting it in van de black that it's absorbing all the light. So let's decrease the opacity. Let's keep it at about this much. Or here's another thing you can do. Double click on the right hand side of the left. The left style dialog box is gonna show up and take it away from the bright areas of the underlying layer. 
or the layer that lies under it. And that is why we're gonna move the sliders in the underlying layer. So let's take the slider from the right to the left, but the transition is very harsh. So hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the slider to break it apart and break it all apart. Now take a look at the texture, looking more natural but it's taking a lot away as well. Make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl or Command J, and this time double click on the right hand side of the layer, make it normal, or you can also right click on it and choose clear layer style. That also does the job, but then again, it also changes the blend mode back to normal. Let's set it to multiply and decrease the opacity. Let's bring it back a little bit. There you go. It's a little bit right here. This area is showing up. So that's overall nicer. Printers are not infinitely detailed so that you have such nicer edges. If you have a printer like that, send that my way. So let's blur them both a little. Select this one. Let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. 0.6 is fine. Hit OK. Also add the same blur right here by holding the Alt key or the Option key. Click and drag the smart filter here as well. Now it's natural. Select both of these labels. Select the first one, hold the Control or Command, select the second one, and then press Control or Command G. Now we need to make a selection of the label. For it, select the background image. You can use the quick selection tool. And if you have a lot of time and somebody's paying a lot of money, even then, the quick selection tool is fine in this case. You don't need the pen tool. So right here, this is extra. And once you have it, select the group right here and click on the mask button. Now, if you like nitpicking, you can take away the extras by painting black right here, but that's more than okay. This is looking fantastic. On top of it, you can decrease the overall opacity. So now let's create a stamp visible layer or a merged layer at the top, which is actually a merge of everything you see in the canvas. Press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. It will do that for you and name it Pix Skin Bottle and save it in your libraries. So let's go to window and libraries. So I have this library 2023 Express. Let's drag it and drop it. Yes, you can save the layer right here. Back in Adobe Express, all we have to do is to choose this one. That's what we're gonna replace it with. Click on replace and now click on libraries right here. Choose the library 2023 Express and there we have it. Click on it and it is replaced. Now, of course, you need to go to crop and shape and rotate it. There you go. Now, if you want to show a little bit more of the cosmetic, you can just move the shape a little bit to the right and that's how you do the social media post. Step five is scheduling. Yes, you can do it from right inside of Adobe Express. So you don't have to jump into a different platform to schedule your social media content. Everything is happening inside of the Adobe Home. Photoshop, Express, and you don't really need to go out of that ecosystem, just like Apple. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's go to share, and right here you'll see schedule. We can choose to share it in Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, write a caption, choose a time, and let us choose a date far in advance so that we don't have to post it. The timing is fine, click on schedule. Now if you go to March, you'll see that it's scheduled for Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can also add Instagram, you get the point, and you can move these around. You can also watch this weekly, and of course you can right click on it and delete the post as well. So I guess we need to do that. Now let me give you a bonus step or a bonus tip. I do this all the time if I'm creating a design. If you create posts for social media, chances are that you would be wanting to use the same template that you worked so hard to modify or create. So if you click on the share button right there, there is a button again, which is make a template. So you can make a template out of this by clicking that button. Let's name this Pix Skin Template. Save it to the library. I chose the library 2023 Express. You can create a new library from right here. Let's save it. Now, whenever you wanna start with this template and replace the text or the images, just go to libraries, go to your library where you have saved it. And here you have your pick skin template. You can create from it and it will start from that template. So that is how to easily create social media posts with Photoshop and Express. Please, you don't really need to have the pressure of starting everything from scratch when professional templates are available. For example, one of my friends wanted to create a birthday invite and you're not really looking for getting a design award. It's, it's a birthday invite. So just open up Express and start modifying. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, our tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. What can I do?